Johnny Stephen here for IrishBoxing.com with Paul Ryan at a press conference in Dublin. That must be mad to say, is it? Like, yeah, it's considering your career, like the way oh, it's been. Yeah, um, I was only talking with like Stephen, who's running and stuff. It's great now that we're finally getting the back on the doorstep. You know, mm. so many fights have been uh, like England, Waterford, Belfast, but now we have right here, so we're able to get a train. We're only laughing. I get the train on the day of the fight down to the RDS. You know. Yeah. It, and look, it, does it? Have you noticed the difference in ticket sales and all already? Yeah, hundred percent. Because so many people that couldn't go to work or whatever, they're trying, they couldn't get nights off and stuff, and even them, like me tickets have doubled from what I was normally doing. Yeah. Day, so it's great. And that's where people still struggling to go. Or? Yeah, yeah, even like that. So it's just people that you, you normally talk to that couldn't go, but they're, they're really making the effort now because yeah. you know it's such a big event. And, and your career is a strange one because you're, you're mad to go, but you seem probably like avoided and it's just and considering the. the what people talk about just sparring or whatever that might be a little bit understandable but like first of all how do you feel about that is like is how frustrating is that yeah it's very it's do you know what i'm in the, the who needs some club so yeah to speak. Like, like there's nothing to gain for me i'm not with any of the big promoters there's no titles on the line so why would you fight me if, mm. you fight, if i put myself in their shoes i get it completely but as a fighter you should fight you know yeah and then well having a dublin base and being able to do tickets and do numbers and maybe bring a bit more extra cash to the table will that help you so change I think that? that will help 100 percent um, i know that there's going to be a push now for more dublin shows so like that if we can build from this and make it a regular thing i know like with matchroom coming back now as well mm. there's going to be demand there and if they know that we're going to get say a good slot on this card we might get towards from the top or something you can push for a title then there's a lot more to play with if you can get that going yeah and does that mean you have to put on a performance here to make sure that with anyone coming to dublin would say well look you want him on your card on anyway, you know, yeah. there'll be nothing less than that, so there's no fear of that, that's all I will be doing. Yeah. And then, do you know who your opponent's who you've got? No, you can ask the lads, I won't even ask for an opponent's no. name. Just go get me a fight, and I'll show up. And, and saying that, when you won't ask your opponent's name, if you look at the domestic scene, is there names you drop, or is you just... Well, I've dropped all the names, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I have, so there's nothing more I can do. Um, I'd, love a, I'd love a real domestic fight because I think that's what's going to build Irish boxing. Yeah. So we're sitting, it's well and good saying we need the platform, we need Dublin boxing back, but we need Irish lads to fight Irish lads. That's what's going to sell, that's what's going to build you, and that's what's going to kick you on. That's a daily call out without dropping names, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so then, just you don't know who you're fighting the 16th round. Right? No, no. Do you know how many rounds or anything? Or? We were looking at eight rounds, so hopefully they still get that. I know we tried to get a fight with the a Welsh guy. He had the he has the, the British the BBBOC. Oh, uh, okay. The title. We tried to get a fight with him. I don't think he took it. Well, I know he didn't take it. I think right. he just threw it down. That was a good route to go then, wasn't that's it? That's what I'm saying. I think he's 14 and all. So like, that's the kind of level that I'm looking at now. You know, I think I'm ranked in the top 150 in the world. So it's time to really push. Is there any then? And that's another thing because you're like mad to go. Like, is there any sort of fear that you'll just jump the levels too quick? No, no, no fear at all. Yeah. Appreciate. It. Thanks, Paulie.